Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got Sage with me. Uh, totally wasn't an hour before we actually started. <laughs> or anything like that. That, that would be crazy. Mm, that wasn't my fault, that was your fault. Yeah. We, we're just silly little dudes. You can't be mad at <laughs> silly little guys. <laughs> Oh, we're getting this video to you, aren't we? Like, shut up. Yeah, fucking... I can't say that. <laughs> mm, free content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking deal with it. Maybe, like, throw me, like, three dollars or something. I don't know. Patreon exclusive, you know? I should make a Patreon. I just don't know when to, you know? Uh, d don't know, please? Don't know, please? Yeah. <laughs> d d donation, please? <laughs> Ooh, woo. <laughs> Look so shyly. Dollar, please, dollar. Dollar, a woo. But please, send by John. <laughs> Dandy. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the Patreon goal. Like, if we if we get five hundred dollars, we will buy a box, Dandy. <laughs> If 500 people send one dollar, I can afford a Vox Dandy. Yeah, not like me trying to get a house. I'm just, like, Cameron's like, oh my god, you got enough money so we can, like, put a good down payment on a house. And then, like, he looks over and he's like, what have you done? And he just sees me with a Vox Dandy in my hand. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help <laughs> myself. <laughs> I'm sorry it had to happen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry. The wheel so <laughs> was spun. And we actually got some Danganronpa content. And, uh, I didn't realize how unpopular this, this ship was in the fandom. I'm a little disappointed in you guys. Get your shit together. People don't, people don't like straight people. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally just thinking that there was so many, uh, like the Ko Koichi, like the purple-haired fucker, and Suichi, <laughs> <laughs> like, popping up. And then, like, I looked up Kaede x Suichi, and there were so many of the, like, Suichi x, uh, I forgot his name already, the purple hair one, like, at least, like, five stories before I got to, like, one that was straight. <laughs> I, I, I just think that we've read two straight ships in a row. Yeah. I what can't a record. This. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, there was Vaughn. No, we. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Wait, four in a row? Or did you say three in a row? Two in a row. Two in a row? I mean, Vox, there's Vox X Reader, then there's the Cherry Bomb oh, yeah. Extra Pentious. And, and then. I just tried to remember. <laughs> what did we read before the Vox one? Was it SMG34? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. So it was three in a row. Can we make it four in a row for the straights? <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that's my email. <laughs> That means that, <laughs> that means that I don't have to read the gay SMG four freaky bitches again. Yeah. For every straight fanfic, I'm gonna I to... don't have to read <laughs> the SMG three four. For every straight couple, the Italians stay one feet away. <laughs> Please donate <laughs> <laughs> to save me from them. Yeah, d donate to the, the membership so you can get a, uh, early access videos, and that saves Sage from the gay Italians rapidly approaching our location. I swear <laughs> to God, if the wheel spins now and I it lands on SMG4 or your choice, I will kill myself. Damn, no, no pressure from the wheel. Oh my God. <laughs> the wheel hates me anyway. It's probably taking that as an invitation. It's like, <laughs> See, it's like don't mind if I do. <laughs> Alright, this is called S is for the smell of your love and coffee by Cafe of Stars. This better be fucking good because there was no other stories of these two. <laughs> yeah, that weren't smutty or yeah. just weird. Oh yeah, basically. There were, yeah, like I really want to read a yawn, like Mastermind Kaede X Servant Suichi that involves smut. I mean, I'll uh, add it to my library anyway, but, like, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> Phoenix. I'm not gonna read it on uh. camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it, I'll read it in the privacy of my home. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in my own little world, so it's fine. Yeah, like, it's like two days later, you get a notification that, like, one of my reading lists updated of, like, it getting added to, like, best books of all time. <laughs> 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 like, oh, God. <laughs> 
Oh, fucking hell. Anyway, this is this is 16 parts, an hour and 30 minute read, so we'll probably have to come back to this one, because we're doubling that shit and giving it to the next person, which is you guys, because we hate you. <laughs> <laughs> this is ongoing. I don't know if this is still going, or if it's, like, abandoned work, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. But I mean, ongoing normally means still going, Phoenix. That's the definition of it. I mean, it could just be, like, incomplete, like, discontinued. So, like, it could just never come back. Oh my god, there's Man. some angst in here. I don't know if we can read this. <laughs> uh, dang. No. No, Buckle up, buttercups. Yeah, get, get ready to be sad. <laughs> Why are we always sad? I don't know. It's just the way the universe works. You can't be happy forever. Well, I'd you like to be happy. You can't, <laughs> you can't appreciate the sunshine if you don't live through a little rain. Well, can I have some fucking sunshine <laughs> because I'm living in rain? I don't know, just move countries. <laughs> nah. Anyway, all his life, Suichi Sahara, I think that's how you say his last first, I don't fucking know, the name, has felt out of place. He felt like he was standing in everyone's way, yet his life managed to turn around at the moment he stepped into that coffee shop. This is a non-despair AU, coffee shop AU, and a university AU. That also means that they have no elemental talents. The cover art is mine. Look at that. We got someone that can draw. Let's go. Yeah, talent. Yeah, let's put some fucking talent up in here. <laughs> yeah. All right, order up. All right. Do you want to be heads or tails? Tails. All right. Now go ahead. Okay. I got heads. <laughs> Yay! You're reading first. That makes a change. Yeah. Alright, order up. I'll take an ice mocha latte with lavender Stop in it. Stop saying mocha, it's mocha. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> no, wait, no, 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 no. I'm not apologizing for that. It's matcha. <laughs> it's not matcha. M-A-T-C-H-A. -A, matcha. What? What did you just say then? I don't know. <laughs> it could have been I anything. What you said. I don't know. That was forever ago, man. <laughs> you said mocha? Why are you saying matcha like mocha? I don't know. Just, my brain's so small, alright? <laughs> uh, I guess I can't be mad at you. Yeah, my brain doesn't have any wrinkles in it. You gotta be patient with me. <laughs> okay, you little smooth brain person. <laughs> yeah, I got like a chicken breast brain. You know? Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no That's wrinkles. So awful. <laughs> you know where that's going? <laughs> Got a chicken breast. <laughs> Do I need to repeat what we just what you said at least like right before? <laughs> about no. you think you know? I don't know. Someone that wants to look at what Sage said, look in the quotes folder. You'll know. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, dash, dash, a lot of dashes. Every day was the same. And then a couple more dashes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Every day for Soichi Sahara is the same. He'd wake up, go to school, do work, go home, eat, do homework. If he had any free time, he would spend time with his roommates. You imagine having roommates in college. Ew. That's so disgusting. Yeah, I'm so glad I never had the, the college experience since I went to community college. Because I would not Me. be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a Debbie Downer. They're like, yeah, this fucking gremlin just lives in that room. I don't ever see her come out. And they're like, oh my god, there she is. And then like, I like run to the kitchen, grab like, a snack, and just like tie tail it back into my room. <laughs> You're wearing your Adam cosplay and you've got a Vox edit playing on your phone while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's it with the music of like, like, don't stop. <laughs> Make it back. <laughs> oh, I was not thinking of that one. I was oh. like, so I won't stop. Do I wait, wait to see that thing go pop? Oh, <laughs> uh, did someone just add a comment? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I went to God, I just saw a comment pop up. But anyway. <laughs> And on weekends, he always sometimes go out. God, he felt so miserable. That is, I, that is the most relatable thing I've ever read in a fanfiction before. <laughs> Me too. Almost as if he was stuck in a time loop. Like that movie Groundhog Day. <laughs> Everything felt so out of place. 
He lived an ordinary life, yet his backstory was uh, odd to say the least. At the age of four, his parents dropped him off at his uncle's house and never picked him back up. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine not having parents that love you, idiot. <laughs> Imagine K. Imagine them leaving, getting the milk, stupid. Damn, you not only have one parent walk out of you, you had both leave to go get milk and never come back. It was a mutual decision between the two parents to just leave you. Yeah. I wonder how they didn't put him up for adoption. They just left him at his uncle's and then, I guess, like, traveled the world and did their own thing. Like, they were still in their 20s. <laughs> I love that for them. <laughs> Slay. Honestly, serving... I can't... <laughs> you Slay. Can't Slay. Slay. <laughs> that word. Because I don't know if it's okay to say. I mean, I was a woman. Does it still count? I mean, yeah, but I'm more worried about the YouTube restrictions. They That's hate true. that word. Yeah. I curse so much, and I have yet to be, like, like talked down to by YouTube. Be like, hey, man, you can't, like, do that shit. <laughs> That's, like, really uncool of you. <laughs> I think when you pull out that word is when they start going, hey, what you doing? <laughs> yeah. I remember one time I got a, a video age-restricted and whatnot. Not from anything I actually said in the video, but because of the title I put of, like, Pokemon Pokemon Legends of when is Arceus gonna get some bitches, and I didn't like I put the word bitches in the title. <laughs> so they age-restricted <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, so sensitive. Yeah. It's just bitches. I was talking about my dogs. I have four of them. <laughs> That's way too many. Yeah. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Later, Suichi learned they abandoned him to pursue their careers. Oh, I was close. The birth of Suichi stood in their way to become famous. Ever since that day, Suichi Sahara felt like he stood in everyone's way. Suichi quickly shook those thoughts away. No, I shouldn't think that way. He sound <laughs> made him sound like some kind of like anime protagonist. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Not from anime. It's a game. Yo, what in anime style. <laughs> okay, when when do we get the the Danganronpa V three animation? <laughs> So true, when is it, please? When that dropping? Huh. When? That, that reminds him. It had been 14 years since he lost all his parents. He wondered, what were they doing now? I'm really glad that they made it so he's 18. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, finally. <laughs> wait, finally? <laughs> <laughs> finally. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> stop the, stop the train. <laughs> Curiosity soon got the best of him, and he took out his laptop to look at his parents' name. Surpri Something surprised him, though. The top search was, do the Sahara actors really have a son? Dan, they found, like, uh, I'm trying to, like, uh, I'm trying, every publication is leaving my brain. Of, like, like True. the Hollywood fix, like, looked into it, and they're like, turns out that there's a, they had a hospital visit it, and, and, and there's a birth certificate for this random, random child. <laughs> He's got some random ass name that nobody can say. <laughs> yeah, like, no wonder why they abandoned him. I, I wouldn't even make it that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So she sat there in disbelief, eyes wide and a mouth open. What the? He quickly clicked on the top search, and sure enough, there was a YouTube video with the title. Suichi confirmed they have a son? That is so clickbait shit of like, Sahara's confirm. Son, and they have like a random guy with a circle, arrows pointing, and then like the dude's looking back. <laughs> that better be the <laughs> thumbnail, so help me god. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> yes. With the same title of the, the, the Sahara's confirm they have son. <laughs> <laughs> Suichi's hands were shaking. This can't be real. They've finally acknowledged my existence after 14 years? He finally- he was extremely shocked, almost angry. He watched the whole video, though that shock soon turned to anger, sadness, and frustration. His parents said that their son was an 18-year-old who lived with them, but didn't want to show it in the public, so they never did show him. They said that they always kept in contact. They're lying straight th through their teeth! I'm making this motherfucker sound like Deku, I'm like- <laughs> Like sound like a bitch! <laughs> I oh. This isn't you! <laughs> Oh, John, why would you do this? 
Uh, I thought we were friends, Kachan. <laughs> Kachan, why, why, why is Daddy crying? Daddy's not done speaking. <laughs> <laughs> The only part that they got right was Suichi's age. Everything else is a lie. All of a sudden, in his mind, it was a blurry haze. He felt lightheaded. He turned off his laptop and got up. He could hardly even stand without wobbling. The boy slowly walked to his d dormitory's living room. Yeah, sure. He was roommates with Kaido, uh, Mo Moda, Sui- Oh, it's this motherfucker. Get him out of here. Suichi what? Oma and Kaibo. Oh my god, they got fucking Kaibo in here! You know what? I, I can be roommates with the robot. No mess. I can be roommates with Kibo. Yeah. So, like, if they have, like, no ultimates, is this, like, is Kibo just, like, a guy? Or is he actually a robot? <laughs> he a guy, for <laughs> real. They just make him, like, hey guys, my name is Kaido. Like, Kibo, or whatever. <laughs> and, and just, like, and just a normal dude with just white hair. He dresses like I did in middle school with, like, the American... The American Eagle <laughs> t-shirts and jeans. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In the living room was Kaido. Hey, Suichi, man, are you alright? You don't look too good. I haven't seen Danganronpa 3 in a while, so... Just... V3, just... I'm basing this off of my own headcanons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm fine, Kaido. Yeah, Kaido. He answered with a shaky breath. I just got a lot on my mind right now. You want to talk about it? He, you know what? Kaido probably is the type to get stoned in college. He probably has weed on him. He's probably gonna do that Jonathan Byers shit. Exactly. <laughs> I, I kind of just want to go for a walk to clear my mind. Thanks for asking, though. With that, Suichi headed out the dorm. He had his coat and scarf on since it was really cold. He was walking around campus when he spotted a, the... Compass Cafe. It was new, so Weechi had never been in it. The boy decided to go in and warm up. Ah, oh, I need to check in. Check- fuck. I- I need to check- I need to check if I still have my wallet. Surprisingly, it was there. And then a lot of dashes. Thank you for ordering at the Cafe of Stars. Please come again soon. Phew, I'm exhausted. Oh, it was Miu. Or, who the fuck is talking? I already forgot. Hey, that's exhausting! Mio, have you known how much time we have left of our ship? Uh, I think like, like 15 minutes. Aw, oh, man. The disappointed girl was Kaede. I fucked up that entire thing. <laughs> Kaede, uh, Kamatsu? Kaede. Kaede buried her <laughs> face in her hands as she leaned over the cash register counter. Oh, why did I have to get so busy tonight? Just when she heard the bell ring of the door, the blonde's head quickly shot up as she returned to her cheerful attitude. Welcome to the Cafe of Stars. What can I get for you tonight? Oh, um... Alright, so we she had forgotten his, his social anxiety. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot about that! I thought I left it at home! <laughs> God, I thought I, I, I thought I locked it in the box! Yeah. Could I get a simple m mocha coffee? <laughs> Hey, they pronounce mocha like I do matcha, whatever the green thing is. <laughs> mocha, Phoenix is mocha! Yeah, I can't read, you know this. I also can't speak, I can't see, hear, uh, communicate. You're an American. You say I'm- You are- Fuck you. Say <laughs> 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 so, yeah, you're American, that explains everything. <laughs> it does. Yeah. No, I'm gonna drop some Phoenix lore so you can make fun of me for it. In middle school, th there was this program called iReady. And we had to use it for uh, for English. Just, like, we had to take it at the beginning of our 7th grade or maybe 8th grade class. Just to see what level we were on. And uh, after I took the test, the teacher got the results. And apparently, I read at a 4th grade reading level. And I had to work very hard to get it on to, like, at least the same level as my peers. <laughs> oh, Phoenix. Yeah, it was very bad. Phoenix <laughs> looked up, guys. Reading is hard, alright? There's no pictures. <laughs> I'm a visual learner. Yeah. <laughs> God, you just made so many memes pop in my head, and they're all inappropriate, and I can't say them. Oh. <laughs> you mean it. Yeah. That'll be 
One hundred ninety-eight dollars and forty-seven cents. This is some expensive ass fucking coffee. No, dollars. <laughs> yen? That's still a lot of yen. <laughs> That'll be one hundred ninety-eight. Uh, I mean yen. I'm, I'm Japanese. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Konnichiwa. <laughs> so, Kuichi, Suichi pulled out his wallet and quickly paid. Kaede smiled. On busy nights like these, Kaede was always forcing her smile, but on this one, this smile was genuine. She had no clue why. Alright, one mocha coffee coming right up. She stared at Suichi for a second before writing down his order and tossing it to Mik Miu. Oh, is Miu the one that's like the engineer? Yeah, she's yeah, the she's really. Like, oh my gosh, she's like me when I see Vox. That. I <laughs> Me win box. Yeah. <laughs> you win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me all the time. <laughs> you win. Vox win. <laughs> Vox now? <laughs> Katie had encountered a variety of customers, but this guy, he was different. He had a much different aura than everyone else. It's called anxiety. <laughs> He's got that alpha aura. He gives off the aura of pathetic, and Kadi is like, "There's something about this guy." <laughs> Plus ten thousand aura for being pathetic. Yay! I must get thousands of aura points then. <laughs> Very true. Every single part of Kadi was screaming at her to have a conversation with him. Suichi softly smiled. The girl was so pretty, or was pretty. She was not anymore though. She <laughs> looked at her name tag. It read Kadi. That's a beautiful name, Suichi thought. <laughs> hey, Kaede! Kaede turned to face Miyu. You're dumb at- I mean, you forgot to write a name on this damn order! Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, that's right! I almost forgot! I need a name for your order? Kaede quickly spoke. She was flushed, awfully embarrassed that she forgot to ask. How odd! Not once had Kaede have forgotten something like that. Uh oh, um, Suichi Sahara. Kaede mumbled his name while writing it down on his order. Suichi didn't know why, but but the way that she said his name made his heart skip a beat. Oh my god, it is love at first sight. <laughs> love at first coffee order. Yeah. <laughs> Alright then, I'll call you up when it's ready. The cafe was extremely busy, but it was packed with students from the university. Most were with their friends. Suichi was the only one alone. He was lucky to have even found a table. Suichi waited for about a minute before he heard a voice. Suichi Sahara? Sahara Desert? <laughs> <laughs> so true. A minute, yeah, he's called the Sahara because he's dry as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Skin, God. dry. Conversations, dry. Hobbies, dry. <laughs> and you clocked him. Yeah. <laughs> Got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in his place for real. Yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, he was pretty embarrassed of having your having his name be called and then get a bunch of stares. But the way that she said his name was memorizing to him. He walked up to the front and grabbed his coffee. Thank you so much for the coffee, so we should reply with a smile and make Kahede uh, heart flutter. Then he walked back to his table and sat down. Kahede stared at Suichi as he walked back and before walking back where me Miyu was making coffee. That guy, he looked pretty nice, don't you agree? Kaede asked Miyu. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Miyu responded before she she smiled wickedly. Pretty nice for you to fuck. <laughs> 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 Miyu and then laughed like a witch. Miyu, shut up! You know that's not what I meant. Kaede crossed her arms and patted before Miyu asking Miyu one last time. Hey, when does our shift end? <laughs> <laughs> me, me when I'm at work and I want my shift to end. Hey, when is our shift? <laughs> <laughs> Suichi drank his coffee at a slow pace. He really wanted to savor it. Hey, Suichi! Suichi looked in front of him and saw him. In, in front of him stood Kaede. She didn't have her apron or main tab on. Suichi was extremely shocked. What are you doing here? He fumbled over his words. My shift just ended. I wanted to talk to you. Talk to me? <laughs> Suichi has puzzled and embarrassed. Kaede paused before continuing to speak. 
So, are you waiting on anyone? Like a friend? Or maybe your girlfriend? Suichi blushed heavily at the mention of a girlfriend. I uh, no, I'm not waiting on anyone. He's fumbling this conversation. Stop fumbling the hot girl. <laughs> yeah, stop fumbling. You were doing so well by just being an idiot, yeah, so... fucking... Get your shit together. <laughs> stop being so beta. Yeah. This is beta-ass behavior. Can you at least be like an omega? <laughs> Yeah, for real. Yeah, you are not the alpha. You are not the leader. <laughs> You're not the one to trust. <laughs> at this rate, Kay at his response, Kay Eddie smiled. May I sit with you then? Uh, of course, only if I, if you don't mind. Suichi was freaking out at this point. So many thoughts were racing through his head. Is this really happening? Is this pretty girl actually asking to sit with me? Is she interested in me, like romantically? Bro, this is not a soul burner. I thought this was like gonna be like a meet cute kind of. Th I mean, somewhat. I mean. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think my brain's deteriorating. My <laughs> wrinkles are informing. <laughs> you didn't even give me time to reply. You were just like, yeah, no, no. Not yeah, like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of, co of course you could sit here then. Uh, I don't mind at all. Katie giggled and then sat down. Secretly, she was very happy that he said yes. Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Katie. I'm a freshman here and I major in music. My main instrument is the piano. What do you study, Suichi? Upon hearing his name, Suichi got quite flustered. Oh, I, uh, I study forensic science. I, I'm planning on becoming a detective. Suichi shyly awayed, hiding behind Cap. Cap, <laughs> <laughs> no Cap. <laughs> Not, no Cap in there. A detective, that's so cool. Oh, uh, thank you. It's not that great, though. I just picked detective work from helping out my uncle. He lowered his cap even more in an attempt to hide his blush. Still, it's so cool. She thought it was cool. Suichi had no idea how he would would take how much more he could take from her before he exploded. Hey, out of context, that sounds like really out of pocket. You <laughs> sound out. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your major's also cool. He replied almost, almost in a mumble. Kay oh, thank God, I can see the end of the chapter. Katie so softly smiled, a light blush on her face. Thank you, Suichi. Her voice was so soft. Had what? Oh, her <laughs> reply was so soft. Suichi felt like he was melting. Probably because it was fucking hot in that cafe. Katie <laughs> looked at him, looked down in embarrassment before looking back up at Suichi. You know, I sat down with you because I felt like you were an interesting person. You also looked kind of very kind. How do you look kind? You look kind? Okay. Her voice was <laughs> soft <laughs> and slower than normal. That's why I like to ask if you would like to be friends. Suichi was completely a mess at this point. Uh, I'd like to be friends with you too, Kaede. He also kept his voice soft and slow. Katie took out a piece of paper with a series of numbers. Man, she had that shit prepped. She was like, I'm about to... Maybe Kaede has Riz. <laughs> Kaede does have Riz, for real. Yeah, she got this boy, like, all nervous and whatnot. He got this man folding, and all he's all she's doing is just like, So what do you major in in, in college? <laughs> um, I'm saying your name, and somehow every time I say it, you get a... I don't know. <laughs> you were about to say a word. <laughs> I, I felt it in the air. And I'm like, oh. Just say shit. it. Just say boner. <laughs> oh, well, you said it for me, so. Yeah, use my boner in the place. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! I meant the word. I meant the word. <laughs> this is my number. Suichi's eyes widened as he stared at the paper. If you don't mind, I'd like to have your number two, Suichi. That night, Kaede and Suichi each left the cafe with a small piece of paper in hand. I still have no clue if I'm going to make this a full fanfiction or keep it as a like a one shot. I'm probably gonna make it a long fanfiction. All right, next chapter. <laughs> <laughs> that took forever. We're probably only gonna have to read like one more <laughs> the rate that we're going. The only reason it took so long <laughs> is because we were making so many jokes through after. Hey, we gotta keep. The no, it'd be boring as shit if we just kept reading, like, he went to the cafe, and Kaede was there, and they had, like, some kind of, like, back and forth, and they got a phone number each, and then they went home, and then they slept. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, I guess. Dude, we gotta throw in shit like a same boner. <laughs> gotta <laughs> keep it original and spicy. Every time. <laughs> Every time you say my name, I get a boner. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what did I get an ad for? Oh lord. Hopefully not anything to do with what I just said. Honestly, <laughs> Adam me in because I said I can't believe you called me a ginger and she just said you got his posture. Oh Lord, you do have his posture to it's be fair. It's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. It's my turn. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> ha, small world, am I right? I don't know, it's quite big actually. Yeah. <laughs> It's got like seven, what, eight, seven, seven, eight billion people on it. It's not that small. Probably like ten million now. A billion. Billion. <laughs> ten million. <laughs> Fucking Elfie. <Elfie. laughs> How many people in world? Oh, in world. oh, God. I will tell that to you later. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's <laughs> 7.951 billion people as of 2022. Well, that was two years ago, so... Well, they haven't updated the statistics. <laughs> Probably, like, eight billion now. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this chapter's about. Kaede and Mew are taking longer than usual to get home, don't you think, Maki? But at Kaede's door, Maki and Samugi were patiently waiting for them. The four girls lived together and got along relatively well. Even though Maki always complained about how annoying the three girls were, deep down, Maki wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Is I, Maki I the one with the wizard thing? No, that's Himiko. Maki's oh. the assassin. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, wizards are we really place looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> As if on cue, screaming could be heard by outside the door. That sounds like Mew and Kaede, Samugi said. I fucking hate this woman. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves a death penalty. <laughs> I don't mind her, she's alright. No, speaking of death penalty, you guys have that over there or no? No. Oh. Really? Yeah. No. Not, not a thing. Oh, damn. Maybe we're just <laughs> cruel over here. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's, it's the American <laughs> trademark. <laughs> Absolutely. Maki sighed before getting up. I'll open it. Maki opened the door and heard Mew and Kaede yelling back and forth insults at each other. What the? Their screaming was so loud even Maki was shocked. As soon as Mew saw the open door, she ran into the dump and began yelling. Oh god. Guys, Kaede's got a boyfriend and I think they fucked in the cafe. Yeah, did do that shit in the bathrooms or the closet. <laughs> Knee deep in the passenger seat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mew, you know that's not true. Maki and Samugi shot each other glances that were a mixture of what the actual hell is going on and curiosity. Maki simply said, Get the hell inside, before shutting the door as the two girls walked in. I swear I'm not fucking crazy. Kaede was literally so desperate to get off her shift so she could talk to her boyfriend. I wasn't desperate, and plus he's just a friend. Samugi was getting impatient. Excuse me, but uh, does I don't have a boyfriend or not? No, I don't. He's just a friend I made at the cafe. He's a boy that's Ka a friend. Leave me alone. <laughs> boyfriend, friend boy. So what? Yeah, what's the thing from, uh, oh fuck, what's the name of the musical? Be More Chill? That's not it, is it? I have no clue what you're on about. You never seen Be More Chill? No. I'm trying to remember. It's you never heard of Michael in the bathroom. Michael in, in the, the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, they like do like the boy thing, and then the other ones like has friends on it. <laughs> oh. Okay, never mind. That that joke flopped. <laughs> <laughs> Kaede yelled out. Through the blush on her cheeks, wasn't helping her out. Friends don't stare at each other with an immense amount of sexual tension, Mew quickly shot back. Maki rolled her eyes and huffed before speaking. Okay, who the hell are you guys even talking about? Uh, oh, this guy I met during my shift. 
Yeah, but what's his name? <laughs> Kaede was hoping she wouldn't ask that. She awkwardly played with her shirt and laughed dryly before responding. Uh, oh, so that's what you meant. Haha. <laughs> Maki could easily tell she was trying to beat around the bush. A simple glare got Kaede to answer. His name is uh, Shuichi. Maki couldn't hide her shock. Did you just say Shuichi? Kaede nodded. I, I haven't seen V3 in a while, so I'm headcanning Mi uh, Maki's voice is like Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you just say? Did you just say Suichi? <laughs> <laughs> they have the same color palette and everything. The perfect Kaito voice, though. Yeah. <laughs> Shuichi is in Shuichi Saihara, Maki asked. Kaede nodded happily. Yep, that's it. Wait a sec, you know Shuichi? <laughs> Maki nodded. Yeah, he's Kaito's best friend and roommate. I train with him and Kaito all the time. Huh? <laughs> Kaede was surprised, but then again, Kaede had never actually talked to Kaito, so it wasn't a big surprise that she hadn't met Shuichi before. Kaito was never in their dorm, but Maki would usually head over to Kaito's dorm. The blonde laughed nervously one last time before saying, Haha, guess it's a small world, isn't it? Oh my god, that's the name of the title! Oh my god! <laughs> reference! 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 <laughs> that's so meta! That is so cool. <laughs> the Mugi interjected. What's that paper in your hand for? Kaede quickly hid it behind her back as red rushed to her face. It's, it's nothing! We can tell you're lying, Kai idiot! <laughs> The <laughs> plum groaned in embarrassment before answering the question. It's just his number. Kaede hated how the badly she stuttered. What? Dash, 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 dash. The entire walk home, Shuichi couldn't help but smile at the thought of his new friend. Kaede had helped Shuichi get his mind off of his parents so well that he didn't even realize that he had stopped thinking about them a while ago. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I was I was reading that and <laughs> I thought he said to get his mind off of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was having a boner. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I was right. Oh. Yeah, you called what the ending of this fanfiction was <laughs> before I we it. got there. <laughs> All he could think about was her. He looked at the small piece of paper in his hand. His mind was at great peace. He kept walking before he arrived at his destination. He took out his keys and opened the door. Hey, welcome home, Shuichi. Now sitting on the couch is Kaito, Kokichi, and Kibo. They were watching some random movie. Oh, hey guys. Do you feel better, Shuichi? Kibo asked. Yeah, I do. Ooh, what's that in your hand? Let me see, let me see. To no one's surprise, it was Kokichi speaking. Ew! Fire squad! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate him so much? He's such a bitch during the game! I hated him! Yeah, but he's necessary. No, he's not! <laughs> yes, he is! No, I, I will refuse. Def I'm defending him with my life. Good, because no one else is going to. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well... Fuck you guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, nothing important. You only stutter when you're nervous. Well, um, that's because the boys knew Shuichi wouldn't finish that sentence, so they pressured him with reassurance. Why don't you Dude. just put it in your pocket, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Bro was gripping onto that like it's the last thing alive. Yeah. He was gripping Dude, onto that on. thing like uh, I do with my Vox Sandy. I was like, firmly grasp. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure have secured in hand. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, come on, Shuichi. We're not going to make fun of you. Whatever it is you're hiding, I don't think it's that embarrassing. Yeah, definitely what that idiot and keyboy said. Shuichi knew there was no other way out of this mess. Fine, I guess I'll tell you guys. He unfolded the paper and spoke. I made a friend at the cafe on campus and he pondered whether or not to say the next part. She gave me her number. She? He knew this was going to happen. 
Shuichi got a girlfriend? It was about fucking time. <laughs> that remark came from Kokichi. Shuichi, you should have told us sooner. Me, Kibo, and Kokichi would have run to congratulate you. Congratulations, Shuichi. No, what? I said she was just a friend. <laughs> well, that's what they all say. I love Dash. that it's canonically confirmed by all three of them. They're like, yeah, we know you get no bitches, so like, it's about fucking time you got some already. <laughs> a bitch? Really? I don't believe my eyes. Dash, 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 dash. <laughs> Bonus! <laughs> hey, Maki Roll. Why are you calling me at 11.47 at night? <laughs> I'm calling to tell you about Shuichi's new friend. I already know about her. What? What do you mean? Shuichi's friend is my roommate. What? Yeah, Ka Kibo, like across the hall, is like, Bro, can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> what the fuck gotta... are you yapping about? <laughs> Bro, I got exams tomorrow, chill. <laughs> my maths exam. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see my calculus later. <laughs> I gotta store it in my memory bank. Yeah, I gotta put it in my fucking USB drive. <laughs> <laughs> it to a PDF. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I know you. I found you, Faker. <laughs> faker, I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Now this better be some kind of like they meet at the cafe, but then they go to class and they're like, "What, Kaina? You're like, you're like two rows behind me. I never noticed." <laughs> Kaede, you're sitting directly beside me. I just, I never noticed you before until that coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, I don't get bitches very often. Yeah. <laughs> Poor dude. It's six thirty in the morning. I guess where they are, and oh, they they signed. So one of these motherfuckers signed up for that seven a.m. class. That <laughs> Those poor fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> 6.30 a.m. How do you guys manage to make the storm this messy? Kibo asks, absolutely dumbfounded. There are couch pillows scattered on the floor and some of Suichi's books that were also laying on the floor. There were also a lazy string on the carpet floor. Lazy string? What the fuck? Why is this string being so lazy? Like, get up. <laughs> <laughs> lazy string doing cat off your ass and... <laughs> get a job. Pay the rent. <laughs> Stop being a smoocher. Go go get a job. <laughs> yeah, you ate literally all the pizza last night, dude. Yeah, stop fucking being a moocher. Get your own shit. <laughs> Asshole. <Fucking> string. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> Suji walked in with four bags of takeout, two in each hand. His jaw dropped when he saw the sight in front of him. What the hell happened in here? Suichi had a face of concern and confusion. It was Koichi. It was Kaido. Both the purple hair boys yelled out. Kaibo groaned. Suichi and I only went to go pick up the food, and this is what you guys do? It was Suichi's fault. That asshole started spraying me with the silly string. <laughs> he, he sprayed silly- he sprayed the silly all over me. <laughs> yeah, but he's the one that sprayed me with the lazy string. Yeah. How dare he. I'm disrespectful. Yeah, but you were- I would only do that because you started throwing books at me. It's called self-defense, fucking idiot. Why don't you read a book or something? <laughs> Kaiba was not having any of this at 6.32 in the morning. Please, stop fighting, both of you. The two boys stopped fighting, but only before Koichi stuck his tongue out at Kaido. Why, you little punk- can we please just have breakfast already? Suichi was starving and was tired of their bickering. The four of them ate, almost in complete silence. Once they finished, Suichi got up and started at the floor. He pointed at the, the two purple heads and spoke. You two are cleaning this up. Suichi and Koichi. Ka whatever. The two fuckheads cleaned <laughs> at one another. <laughs> Eyes wide before they attempted to make a run for it. Before they could escape the door, Kaibo grabbed them by their shirt collars. Hey, you guys made this mess. Take responsibility. You know what, Kaibo? Kaibo must be, like, really smart. Like, not really smart. I mean, that also, because he's, like, a robot, but, like, really strong. 
Also, why does everyone in this fucking dorm except for Suichi have a letter that starts with K? <laughs> I was about to make a joke and I'm not going to. I have I had the same wavelength as you and I'm like I don't know if I, I'm not gonna say that and. <laughs> Everyone knows what we were thinking, though. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what we were thinking about, you're a bit dull, but hey. No, let them live in ignorance. Hey, 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 Suichi! Koichi had walked up to him as Suichi was heading to a lecture. Suichi turned to Koichi. Everyone's fucking name sounds the same, too! Everything rhymes! Everyone... Just be unique! <laughs> is, is something wrong? Suichi had a mischievous grin. I'm gonna spray me, me you with this. Is do you still have a, a silly string bottle? And who's me you? Koichi rolled his eyes. He's she's a strawberry blonde in the front. D don't spray anyone. Suichi warning was too late. The purple haired boy had already ran up to her. Suichi ran towards Koichi to try to to try and stop him, but the damage was already done. Oi! What the fuck? What the fuck is your problem, you lying little bitch? See, no one likes him. I like him. Well, you're dumb. I liked it! Don't, <laughs> don't fucking agree with him in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, take me back to pilot days. <laughs> Koichi, I told you not to spray anyone. Me looked to see who it was. She gasped before laughing. Well, if it isn't Kaido, K idiot's boyfriend for the cafe, the fuck are you doing hanging around this purple piece of shit? You his mom or something? You know what? I know it's my head cannon. Me, you is British. <laughs> oh, well, it no. And and Maki is Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Maki Keanu Reeves confirmed. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Aren't they both like killers? Yeah, so yes. real. Yeah. See, we're fine. Suichi raised an eyebrow. Uh, who who are you? You, you? you don't remember me? She looked genuinely offended. I'm the one who made all the fucking coffee. Suddenly her voice suddenly her voice rang a bell in his mind. You're the one who was yelling at Kaide in the back, right? Fuck yeah I am. <laughs> uh, uh well, it's nice meeting you. I I have to get to class. Bye. Suichi tipped his hat at both of them before walking off. Bye, bye, Suichi. If you tell Kaibo about this, I'll spray you next and pour bleach on all your clothes. Man, I would, like, get Koichi kicked out of the dorm. I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a genuine hatred. If I could kick a child, it would be Koichi. <laughs> <laughs> a child, and he's, like, what, 18? Yeah. He's small enough to be a child. <laughs> Suichi would die with the <laughs> I hate him. I want to punt him across a fence. <laughs> so yeah. she walked th through the campus, looking for a nice place to relax. Then he heard her voice call out to him. Hey, I know you! He turned. Ugh, oh, Kaede, what are you doing here? We're both in the same campus, you fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 we both go to class here, fucking loser. God, I can't believe <laughs> I gave you my number. <laughs> <laughs> I was just walking around campus when I bumped into you, the blonde responded. Anyway, I was wondering if you would let me walk with you. Oh, um, uh, sure. Katie skipped closer towards Suichi and then walked by his side. The pair talked about their day and what they did. Katie didn't stop laughing when Suichi told her about the fiasco this morning. The capped boy also told Katie about his encounter with Miyu. You met Miyu? That's quite embarrassing. Did she say anything mean to you? Uh, n no, n not really. That's good, Katie suddenly remembered something. Ah, oh, that reminds me, Suichi, are you by any chance friends with Miyu, uh, Maki, Harakai, Maki, <laughs> Maki roll. <laughs> oh, oh, Maki, yeah, I'm pretty good friends with her, why? Because she's my roommate and my friend. R really? <laughs> Every time I, I meet... Suichi sounds so pathetic, which he is, but I'm glad I'm doing a good job of it. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, she told me that she knew you, you're friends with Kaido, aka her boyfriend. I forgot they were dating. 
Or at least that was the head cannon in the, the anyway. They were supposed to be dating. Maybe, maybe you should freshen up on Duncan Rumpa a bit. Yeah, I gotta like pressure L to be like finishing Despair Girl so he can already just get to uh to V three. I hate that he's playing Despair Girls. Just skip to the good one, please. No, he has to kill the children. I need him to like punch Monica in the face. Good. Good. Yeah. Also, it's got some good lore in it. <laughs> what? I have the same hatred for as you have for Kokichi. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, where did I leave off? I was too busy calling Suichi a, a, a dumbass. <laughs> oh yeah, the boyfriend thing. Suichi chuckled. I guess both of our roommates are dating each other, right? Kaede giggled. It's kind of funny in a way. Suichi and Kaede soon started talking about their hobbies. Of course, that meant Kaede would speak about her love for the piano and music in general. Is that her only personality? <laughs> yes. Nice. No wonder why she was killed off so fast. Debussy. Yeah. Y you know, I love playing all kinds of music, but classical music is will be my favorite. It's so beautiful. Even more sadder pieces are so beautiful. Do you have a favorite classic piece, Suichi? No. <laughs> no. Hell no. <laughs> I listen to rap. <laughs> I don't, really, I'm I don't really listen to classical, so I don't really have a favorite piece, but I do agree it's indeed beautiful. I know, right? It just captivates your mind and puts you into a trance. Chi-Chi loved listening to Kaede speak. It was nice to see her open up to him about something she loved. Kaede looked at Suichi and studied him before speaking. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, wh what do you wonder, uh, Kaede? Oh, thank god I can see the end of this. <laughs> Suichi asks, a little on edge. I wonder if I could get to know you better. Will you be able to resonate... Res <sighs> resonate you with a piano piece? What? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I get to know someone, I usually think of the piano piece that reminds me of them. I wonder if I'll be able to do the same with you. Suichi didn't know how to feel. His mind was still processing what Kaede had just said. I have a piece in mind, but I need to know you better in order to f finally decide. Well, I, I'll look forward to hearing what you have come up with, Suichi said. Kaede nodded her head with a firm smile. We should hang out sometime, Suichi. Oh, I, I like that. Kaede giggled. I think I should go head to class now. Bye, Suichi. Kaede said with a huge smile on her face. Bye, Kaede! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay, we did it! Yay! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got Yippee! Yay! How did you feel about it? It was good! Yay! I'm Yay! I'm agree on something. <laughs> and plus it had Kokichi in it, so that's like a bonus. Yeah, and... Negative two points for having you Kuichi just agreed in it. with me. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Wait, wait. hold on. <laughs> no. I was thinking of the fucking. I was thinking of Kaido. I get the fucking names mixed up. <laughs> well, there is a a bunch of K's. Too many, honestly. When yeah. Did I, when did I get my favorite one in here? That green-haired one that's into anthropology. Correcchio? Correcchio, yeah, when we get Correcchio in here. Where's Gota? Where's Gonta at? <laughs> Where my boy Gonta? Where's the where's the art one? What's her name? The who? The the one that's like really into art and she wears like a yellow coat. Oh, Angie? Yeah, we need Angie in here. I'm fucking praise be to a Hua. Did, did you <laughs> wait a minute, did you just say like I don't know who would fucking want her in this family? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I said, praise be to a tour. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. That was her whole thing. Yeah, that was her whole personality. Yeah, her whole personality was being a worshipper of God and being, a, like, a baddie at art. <laughs> 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 Shoddy a little baddie. <laughs> Shoddy like a melody in, in my, my head. head. I, why did they put fucking... Aw, oh, fuck, I already forgot her name. Samugi in here. Why'd they put this bitch in here? Why can't they see bring I... the avocado guy? <laughs> Rantaro. I love Rantaro. Yeah. 
Trying to think. Oh, fuck. What if, if they're trying to get another girl in here? Why are they bringing fucking like Tenko? Tenko was so cool. Tenko. Tenko and Himiko. Yeah, they better. These people better appear in the fan picture, so help me God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've only help seen me. like. Yeah. We've seen like eight people. We have eight more. If yeah, Mon for. If Monokuma is not the principal of this, of this university, I'm out. <laughs> if the Monokubs aren't like. The Jesus. favorite children. They're his children. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Alrighty. You know what it's time for? Oh. That's a spirit. Alright. Oh, Can you God. see the wheel? <laughs> no. Actually? <laughs> actually? Wait, actually, you can't see it? I actually can't see oh, it. Oh, God, hold on. Give me two seconds. Also, maybe the. Oh, where the. Oh, I was about to say, like, it was a sign from God that I should buy a Vox Sandy, and before I could even say it, the ad was yanked away from me. <laughs> it didn't want you to see that. It was like, oops, wrong ad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are you hoping for? Anything but SMG3 for Vox or your choice. I'm really or Chazzy Striker. You know, I'm actually hoping for uh, Phoenix Wright x Miles Edgeworth. It's been a while since I read one, so. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. Please, God, help me. Oh. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. <laughs> so if you screamed, I could not hear it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can feel all of the blood rising. I made the pog face, just to let you know. Phoenix, I'm I'm being so serious when I say I'm so angry right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're not though. I was excited to see what you would have picked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm ripping my hair out. I'm ripping my hair out. Take that off the whip! <laughs> no. I'm so <laughs> mad. Okay. We'll have it off for a little bit, okay? <laughs> alright. This is not alright. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh god! I'm just done laughing at me. Oh shit! <laughs> I said I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not I sorry. Am, <laughs> I, I am. I was so excited to see what you're gonna choose. Hmm. You're gonna, oh. you're gonna send me a pipe bomb. I feel it. <laughs> chat the chat. I can see it in the immediate future. Chat the chat. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for joining, Sage. I really appreciate it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> never <laughs> seen you so upset before. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The rage has left my body. I'm just left with sadness now. It's okay. Oh, it's I'll, not. I'll mail you some pins. That's not gonna make you feel. Uh. Alrighty. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. On screen is a playlist of the other Wattpad book club readings I've done with people, and then the last one. Uh, like the last uploaded one, if you want to look at and check that out. Uh, Sage, do you have any final words that you want to say to the audience? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is probably gonna be the last time you guys <laughs> see me. There's, uh, there's a window right next to me right now. <laughs> and, no. uh, I just want to say, I just want to say, um, thank you for tuning into my Whoopie Book Club <laughs> 
but you won't be getting any more. No, don't kill yourself. You're too sexy. This is the final <laughs> draw. <laughs> well, anyway, my name is Phoenix. That we say you will see you guys next time. Bye. Not even. Bye. <laughs>